These videos are just designed for rebirth of the best spirituality without any evil idea of blasphemous. On the contrary, this scientific approach shows the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because we have seen that the four forms could exist scientifically without spreading and complicating the subject. I prefer to simplify to the maximum, but the real question is why these forms of creation. These events have marked humanity without scientific awakening for fear of not being able to be at the head of the explanation or to create doubts and fabulous in our history. By ignorance also in the past time the explanation was given by wizards or by imaginative support. Why the model of existence has genetic explanation and the most miraculous of and spectacular event and the creation of Adam alayhi salam besides this how to explain it it's impossible for us to explain this creation but we know that the earth has passed through phases of events containing within itself living beings totally different from us in animal instinct brainless this prefers is the preparation of suitable environment for the coming of our grandfather and us thereafter. The exciting beings were only there to accomplish a cycle of life for a favorable environment for the human being, leaving traces of archaeological bone without any relation with ours. In spite of this, the man does not stop to carry out searches in order to connect with animal beings, killing themselves like predator, and to support a failure of a theory that of aliens, for once again to flee to the through that of our powerful Creator Subhanahu Wa Taala. Also, the first man from nothing. All religions, ethnic groups, sect, etc., accept this miraculous being. The false theory are only to prevent the awakening and the good affliction to maintain and preserve their interests at the expense of their flows because the awakening provokes an exclusion of some religions without scientific logic and the simplest search stop at I exist they existed. Is it this logic? On the other hand, our time explains that the coming of the second form from the flank of the first man is very logical because the bone marrow contains all the material and genetic map of the later, which we interpret as the first and only miracles cloning of all our existence with respect for the chronological order of genetic events of creation without gestational organ. Man is formed from all the elements that you see on this painting, which our host earth because we are created from clay. This explanation, the expulsion of our grandparents from paradise following lake of vigilance and the first contact of our grandfather, Adam salam, and our eternal Satan in me by this diabolical ruse by inciting our grandparents to eat from the forbidden tree, which provokes a new event and mutation. Because paradise is a sterile and clean environment, it has the appearance of the genitals for the evacuation of excreta food watts, the receiving seat is our land for biodegradation and decomposition of any organic matter by microorganisms. And subsequently, procreation and genetic maps containing gene variation and variation of race and lineage such as that of prophets and messengers. Not to mention genetic defects over time thereafter, this also proves that the man being does not manage anything, neither his day of birth nor the choice of parents, his country, his skin color etc. In spite of this, his arrogance pushes him to say that he is of a selective people with a blasphemous act and injustice towards these fellows 
a diabolical line transmitted from generation to generation for a purely material interest. A consumer society of which they have a monopoly, supported by consumers and that the world having for feed and low only money or through science and technology comes to support the religious laws of human errors, making the difference between the accurate good and the accurate evil, and that the land is not a field of harvest only because our brain has the capacity to analyze on a scientific database in harmony with the religious laws. We found that the followers of this society are able to sell their souls, their pulpits, even their own offspring for money, forgetting the great miracle of their existence as well as the Creator, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who is God? God means all subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is unique. In Surah Al-Ikhlas, بَعْدَعُدُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ بِسْمِ اللَّهِ الرَّحْمَنِ الرَّحِيمِ قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدُ اللَّهُ الصَّمَدُ لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد صدق الله العظيم I translate say he is Allah who is one Allah the eternal refuge he neither begs nor rise born nor rise there to him any equivalent God also affirms us by his prophets Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam of this quality presented by this 99 names as well as to know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell us in Surah Al-An'am verses 14 in Arabic بعد أعود بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل غير الله اتخذ وليا فاطر السماوات والأرض وهو يطعم ولا يطعم قل إني أمرت أن أكون أول من أسلم أو لتكنن من المشركين صدق الله العظيم I translate, say, is it other than Allah I should take as protector, creator of the heavens and the earth, while it is he who feeds and is not feed? Say, O oh Muhammad, وسلم, indeed, I have been commanded to be the first among you who submit to Allah and was commanded, do not ever be of the politists. We carried out in this research our historical evaluation on a really database which a genetic recapitulation and chromosomal anomalies in order to facilitate to the different auditors the possibility of these four forms and to provoke a starter of awakening of our sleeping consciousness. Since our existence, the man thinks to the questions could improve his environment in all the fields only the religious domain remains untouchable sacred venerable for some directives and the indoctrination of order time makes that there are failures or, or removal of certain forms of belief such as sects or modification and falsification of certain religions but only miraculous events remain inherently from generation to generation from certain real facts not modified or modified by ignorance without logic for the benefit of our time to develop in the divine sense which is inexplicable to this day and rejected by our knowledge and scientific logic why the miracle of these four forms of existence is it a different challenge to this to the disbelievers and believers showing the power of our, our creator subhanahu wa ta'ala and this shows that man is born of himself and we know that everything is based of on a repetition of atomic sequence and electron proton neutron distributed throughout this great universe and that everyone has determinate role to play and this proves the existence of a powerful creator to manipulate the infinitely small at the neutrino to the infinitely large as universe 
This organization will create a different power without the slightest second of respect. This corresponds to the verse of the throne of Surah Al-Baqarah where God says Allah la ilaha illa huwa al-hayyu al-qayyum la ta'khudhuhu sinatun wa la nawm lahu ma fi as-samawati wa ma fi al-ard man dha alladhi yashfa'u 'indahu illa bi'idnih ya'lamu ma bayna aydihim wa ma khalfahum wa la yuhiituna bi shay'in min 'ilmihi illa bima sha' wasi'a kursiyyu as-samawati wa al-ard wa la yu'uduhu hifdhuhuma wa huwa al-'aliyyu al-'adhim sadaqallahu al-'adhim I translate, Allah, there is no deity except Him. The ever-living, the sustainer of all existence, neither drowsiness overtakes Him nor sleep. To Him belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on the earth. Who is it that can enter it with Him except by His permissions? He knows what is presently before them and what will be after them and they encompass not the thing of his knowledge except for what he wills his kursi the throne extendence over the heavens and the earth and their preservation tires him not and he is the most high the most great the possibility of existence of the four forms in their four possible by but why this existence religiously and historically that we will see in the next video